Hey guys, Gothic Nibir here. This is from what I believe the last of the Mono Battle Week stuff, which I'm using for Mono. Mm. Uh, my opponent this time is not. Um, he at first I thought he was bringing Mono Ghost, but it turns out I was wrong. Um, and that's Fias or Fice or whatever you want to pronounce it. Fias. Um, they're bringing Gengar, Golurk, Talonflame, Magneton. Cloister and Meowstic. So yeah, let's see how he does. Hopefully it's be a quick one because I've still got a few more left to do. Get all the other, get more uploaded. 26 times. This is going to be another one. Uh, right. Better put on the coffee. Wait, coffee makes me jerk. You don't want that. And I'm done off by throwing out my Bisharp. While they get their special defense and up, which is good because I'm not using special defense, I'm being physical. And I'm gonna keep the poison in as well. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, let's, just, let's get physical, let's get physical and kick its butt proper. Get stuck in there. You may know it's done but it's not going to do a hell of a lot to um, Pornia. No, Bishop, sorry. No. Kicking out the Cloister and it's going to start Shell Smashing. To start boosting its way up the ranks into legendary station. And Bishop is still paralyzed due to that thunder wave, so it might cause a bit more trouble than what I planned. And of course, it's gonna rock smash because that's all it knows besides Icicle Spear. But we're getting through these, we're slowly getting there. It's just having to grind out these videos, get them all done together, get them all wrapped up, put a little bow on them. And then just go, here you go, have these on YouTube. Have these there, have these there. It's a lot of work, like, not that like putting, doing a YouTube channel on top of a Twitch channel, it's a lot of work because you're having to constantly promote the power of them. You're trying to be an entertainer. And granted, this is more of a vlog thing instead of an entertainment thing because I'm just really talking through the battle, you're just watching, trying to enjoy it while a scrub is in the background rammering on. Cloister is slowly getting drilled in with that poison though, which is a good thing. Now, out comes Pepe of my mono dark team. If I remember right, I'm going to gunk shot that cloister into hell. Ow. No, it practically one shot it. Pepe, you suck. There goes the light screen. Alright, good. Out comes Absol, my 6RB shiny bread baby. Mm, boom, say hello to my baby. Sucker punch. Oh, come on. Ugh. Why are you failing so much, Sucker Punch? You're supposed to be a good move. That's great. Close is coming down with me. Oh, 
Oh, yay, Talonflame! Because they're always fun to fight. Maybe I went straight into payback. I could have killed it. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. Another brave bird, baby. Brave bird. See, I'm still trying to set up Umbreon. And if it can't... If it can't survive another brave bird, then it's gone. Because actually all it does is just spam Brave Bird over and over. Which makes it very boring and not worth watching. And there's Moonlight to restore some health on Umbreon, even though everyone is everyone kind of gets Umbreon strategy where you stall your ass off after you set up the curses and just keep hitting that payback. Payback, payback, payback! Still setting up that curse though. I'm still setting up Umbreon. Oh, come on. There you go. Now you're doing smart. You should have toxic that thing the second it hit the field. Freaking talent playing. More like bitch wang. Bitch wang. No, that was not meant to insult anyone out there with the name of bitch wang. I'm just saying talent flame is a pain in the ass to fight if you don't know how to combat it. But it doesn't occur to me, just do payback. If I paid back right into it, it could have killed it. Right now, long ago. What was I thinking? If I knew what I was thinking, I could correct myself. I could go back in time, get myself a big wet fish net. What are you doing? Use payback, you fool. I get you trying to set up, but please just kill the freaking thing. And now it's gonna kill itself with that brave butt. That's okay, right? Man. We're like 20 turns in, so yeah. Yay! I only took like 10 turns to kill a town flame. And somehow it still survives only to be killed by toxic. Kill them all, man. Just die. Mm. Bang. Hey, it's a go lurk. <laughs> Why'd you go lurk in someone else's graveyard? Because your drain punch ain't gonna do jack. One shot, look. Boom. Gone. Ooh, shiny magneton. Nice. And payback. <laughs> Easy light, of course. And then finally, that was Gengar. The annoying king of the east. White trash to the world. Uber all to itself. Ginga. Slug wave. And 
then burn it. Burn it, 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 because it got a crit in one shot. Duh. Yeah, this one's a bit of a moany bitchy video. Hello, Hunch Clear. I'm going to start doing the promotion stuff now, guys. If you like the video and you like my whining and slash bitching, like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Also, Twitch link down there so you can battle some about try and get a battle with me on stream it's all done via our system so don't come in and demand a battle you've got to be drawn from the raffle dudes and do this don't want to be offending the women there but yep yes thank you for the battle wonderful battle myself just a bit annoying with that talent plan how i didn't clock to kill it soon with payback and gengar Oof. let's hope it's one mega i don't have to fight against you with again yeah, good bow. Like, comment, subscribe, all the usual jazz. A few more battles to do, and then I will be done for the night. Woohoo! Night off!